Hey guys, Gary from DIY Electronics. I'm sure all of you guys that are into home automation is familiar with Mercury. Okay. Now Mercury is not integratable into Home Assistant directly. You have to do a couple of little jumps to get it onto the Home Assistant, and I'm going to show you how. Um, I didn't see too many. Um, home automation videos out there about home assistant using the mccurry but you can use it but you got it you got to um put another app in between it all right mccurry is a um rebranded genie device okay genie is compatible with another application called tulia so what i'm going to do is First, I'm going to walk you through to take the McCurry device and we're going to download an app called Tuya and we're going to install the McCurry device onto the Tuya app and I'm going to show you it working back and forth. Then we will go on to integrating the app over to home assistant that's the easiest way to do it because every time that you want to add a, a mccurry device to home assistant you have to add it to your android phone first then basically you scan a qr code on home assistant and it automatically will dump all of your devices off of your app onto home assistant It'll come a little bit clearer as I walk you through on how to do this. But this is the easiest way to do it is let's get the app up and running and let's get this device on the app and operating. And then we're going to dump it into Home Assistant. All right, you with me? So let's go over on to um, the desktop. Well, no, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you this. I'm going to plug in the device. And as soon as you plug it in, it basically goes into pairing mode. The blue light starts to flash. Okay? So let's let that set off to the side. And I'm going to bring you to my phone. Oh, i got to click here first. And click here. All right, this is the home assistant, you know, working in the background over here. And this is my phone right here in the middle. Now, what I want you to do is, I am actually on the, the Tuya app homepage right now, but I want to go to, I'm going to go to Play Store. And this is what you want to get right here. Tuya Smart. T-U-Y-A Smart. And install it. Okay? Once it's installed, hit Open. All right, now you're on the Tulia homepage. Okay, so now we want to add a device. So right up here, I'm going to hit the plus sign. Right here, it opens up, add device. Click that. Okay, see that scanner? That scanner was going around and immediately found the Mercury switch right here. So you click on, you click on the switch right here. All right. Then you enter the um, Wi-Fi information for your local Wi-Fi, and you hit next. Now, if you can see right here, it's actually installing the McCurry switch. All right. So let's wait for that to um, install. And matter of fact, I'm going to bring you back to a split screen, and with the camera and my phone. And I'm going to show you it operating. So it found the switch, it installed the switch, and now you just sit done. All right. So here is the on off toggle for your switch. But I want to bring you back to a split screen. All right. I'm going to bring up the switch. And you notice that the, the blue light, the blue pairing light is now off. Now on my phone. I'm going to hit the on button. See the blue light comes on? And then I'm going to turn it off. Off. 
click it on off on all right I'll turn it off I'm gonna leave it off now now let's go to let's go to home assistant and get the Tulia app well integration they call it onto home assistant so what I'm gonna do is okay guys so now the next part that you gotta do is you gotta go back to home assistant okay then you gotta go over here and hit settings go up here to devices and integrations then you, wanna go down, you wanna go down here and hit add an integration then up here you want to put in Tulia. All right, click on it. Now it's waiting for you to give it a code. And then how you do that is, hopefully I don't move this too much. You go back to your your Tulia account right here, and right down here in the bottom, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. It says me. You click on me. Then you come back. A top and there's a little little nut right here you hit that nut come on hit that nut then you want to go to account security and then right down here is your user code all right write down that user code and you want to put it up here okay in the Tulia app on your home assistant then you want to um, go on here and hit the back button twice until you come back to the home screen then right up here you want to hit these the QR can scanner all right <laughs> now when the scanners running you gotta um, back over here on home assistant you want to hit submit and a QR code comes up and then take your phone and scan that code then on your phone you want to hit confirm login then after you hit confirm login and you get back to your home screen back on home assistant hit submit and it automatically dumped all the information from your app over to the tool you on your home assistant see where the plug is right there and you say finish now I'm gonna to go to overview and here's the switch right here now keep in mind every time that you add a device you gotta add it onto your phone first and then you gotta at you know dump it with that QR code you have to you know go back you have to go back over here to settings then go devices then go add integration and then put in tool you then you got to put in your 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 username and then scan that code and it will automatically dump that new device here okay so now that it, it's here I'm going to bring that I'm gonna bring that right here and there is the McCurry and then over here on the site I am going to click it on see the blue light come on uh, hopefully you can see that and I'll click it off and then click it on and click it off and that is how it's done that is how you do the McCurry hokey pokey all right so again guys um, the best thing to do is get all of your devices up and running on your phone first and then go on home assistant hit on tool ya then you got to go to and get your your user code put it into tool ya hit submit then you got to hit on your phone for the scanner you scan the code and it automatically dumps all the devices right in to home assistant all right and that is how you do it questions comments leave them down below and as always um, I could use some assistance if you want to um, uh, sign up for my telegram channel and see if you can help out on the telegram channel with any questions from subscribers and uh, let's get that community going I'll leave a link down below and with that thanks for watching guys any questions comments about this just leave it down below